G'day guys, welcome back to another Catch and Cook. Now it's been over six weeks since the last Catch and Cook that we did the trip to Balambi with my mate, the fishing maestro. So today has been eagerly anticipated. Uh, the plan for today is basically I'm going to head up to my usual spot in Sydney Harbour, um, meeting up with a workmate of mine and um, hopefully I can get on him on to some fish. So um, the aim is just for a mixed bag and uh, check in. Once we're on. Okay, so we've uh, just arrived at the spot. The sun is setting in the background there, and what a glorious afternoon it is. Um, so as mentioned earlier, I've got my mate, good mate Darren here, he's running shotgun. G'day. Yep, so I'm going to cast one in, and we'll see what we get. So the bait we're just using is um, Pilly Cubes on a two hook pan Noster rig with a small ball sinker just on the end and it's just a basic drop to the bottom the water here is about 10 meters deep it's a sandy bottom I think if we've gotten it to the snapper family Maybe snapper number two. Come on, stop hitting my bait. I want the valley. But I will grab that net there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's just what we wanted. Nice trevally. Alright, we finally got our first keeper. Darren's onto a fish. The yellow tail, that's a red. Always welcome. Okay, so it's been a very slow day. So I um, diverted my attention to catching yellow tail and slimy mackerels. Um, it's pretty much the same rig as I showed earlier on just using a smaller hook but um, fish all around the boat at the moment literally so it doesn't really take long just cast one in I'll show you how long it takes there's something having an inquiry at the moment Yep, we're on. As you can see, that was probably just on a minute. And we have a lovely slimy mackerel here. Okay, so we're gonna call it a night now. <laughs> it's been a very slow day, but I managed to salvage um, the day for, to follow through with the catch and call. So um, we'll see what I'm gonna be doing as soon as we get home. All right, back at home now. And so, as mentioned earlier, it was a very slow day, but I still managed to salvage another catch and cook episode. So what I'm planning to do with these fish is um, I'm going to be making my version of a kipper. Now, if you've ever heard of what a kipper is, a kipper is a smoked herring. And being in Australia, we don't um, have herring in our waters, but um, I'm going to give it a go with these yellowtail. A very underrated fish, and I'm gonna make them sexy. So I'm gonna uh, proceed by brining these and uh, we'll check in when it's time to smoke them.
Okay, so the fish have been in the brine overnight for the last eight hours. Now they're good to go uh, for smoking. And I also forgot to mention that this is a cold smoke because tr traditionally um, the kippers are a cold smoke because uh, people do that to preserve the fish so they can consume over the, the colder months when they're not in season. So I'm just gonna go and get this um, into the smokehouse and we'll give it about a eight, eight to 10 hour smoke once again. So there you have it, an Aussie kipper. Not much different to the store-bought smoke herring. Um, but this concludes this video guys. Stay tuned for the second one because I'm doing a follow-up video with this. Um, I'll actually be demonstrating a recipe, a traditional English breakfast, uh, where this is, ser uh, this is the kipper is served with a hash brown and I'll be giving you a more in-depth demonstration on how to make the hash brown and how this kipper is eaten as well. So until the next video guys, bye for now.